at you! You water splash! Hey guys, what is up? It is Nixium here. And over the past few weeks, I've made a couple of videos praising Battle for Azeroth, and I've talked about a lot of the stuff that I've enjoyed in the expansion, a lot of the stuff that I've been having a ton of fun with, but I haven't really spent too much time talking about the things that I'm not really enjoying, the things that I think Blizzard could make improvements upon, or just things where I'm kind of like, like, what's going on here? So, I want to spend just a few minutes talking about some of the negatives that I've encountered in Battle for Azeroth, and a lot of these are just personal opinions, so don't take anything I say too harshly. Now, I have six things that I've written down that have really sort of bothered me throughout the expansion, and I've divided them into two categories. The first thing are my small gripes, things that don't really bother me too much, but I kind of sit there and I'm like, why? And the second thing is the bigger gripes, bigger personal things that have made me go, God damn it, Blizzard, what are you doing? So let's start with the small gripes. Some small things, things that sort of, they sort of bother me, but they're not too big of a deal, but still. So the first one, let's start very simple. Let's start with the very first thing you're probably going to see in this new expansion, the new revamped default UI. Here's the thing. I'm not here to say that, oh, it looks bad or it looks like garbage or whatever. No, my question is just why? Why change the default UI? What was wrong with it? I thought the default WoW UI looked great. The whole menu bar was down at the bottom. The spells and the abilities were laid out around the screen. What was wrong with it exactly? Why did you have to change this blizzard? Why did you spend man hours reinventing this UI? Now I can understand, like, okay, hey, yeah, the old UI is getting old. I mean, it hasn't changed since Classic WoW, but there are add-ons to change the UI. I mean, I, I don't know, I just felt like it was an unnecessary change, and it just sort of, just a little thing that I've been like, uh, but why? <laughs> yeah, you know, all right. The second small gripe that I have, but it's kind of like a debate. I'm not sure if it's a small gripe or a big gripe, but... The Horde Capital City kind of sucks compared to the Alliance one. Whereas the Alliance one is this giant cool port city with all these NPCs walking around, going about their business with some really scenic views. The Horde Capital City is just this tiny little pier behind this big old Mayan inspired temple. And you got a boat and there's a mission table on it. And there's a couple of Horde NPCs standing around with tents and crap. I think the Horde capital city, in quotes, compared to the Alliance one, just kind of sucks. I think it's dumb. Like, I would prefer it if all this Horde stuff, whether it was the mission table or whatever, I'd prefer it if it was actually in the giant frickin' pyramid, not just down in the pyramid's backyard. So, I don't know, I just don't like the Horde capital city compared to the Alliance. So, if you're a Horde player, I feel like you kind of got the short end of the stick. And the final small gripe that I have with this expansion, I'm not really sure what the word I should use is, but I feel like the questing content after the battle for Lordaeron scenario is just sort of, it, it's kind of just so unrelated to the expansion title. So let me, let me explain what I mean. So the expansion is called the battle for Azeroth. And as you guys probably know, this expansion kickstarts with the battle for Lordaeron scenario. Just like the Broken Shore, you and a bunch of players get together, you fight for the Undercity, some cool stuff happens, blah, 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 no spoilers, and then you're either dumped into Kul Taras or Zandalar. Now, the battle for Lordaeron is great. You're fighting the Horde, you're fighting the Alliance, you're all pumped up, you're fighting for your faction, and then it's just sort of like, oh, hey, go help some Kul Tirans with some witches in the woods. Oh, hey, if you're a Horde player, go help the Zandalari with some, like, blood trolls and some fox people in the desert. Where is the battle for Azeroth? It's kind of like the battle for Azeroth is happening way over there, but you're being forced to play over here and help with this other crap. 
Now, this is sort of a similar criticism that I had with Legion because you started with the Broken Shore scenario and then suddenly you're helping Malfurion like help Cenarius in Valshara or you're helping a bunch of freaking cows climb a giant mountain. What does that have to do with fighting the Burning Legion? You know what I mean? The thing was called Legion. So it's just a small gripe. And yes, I know that we're recruiting the Kul Tirans and we're earning the trust of the Zandalari people and whatnot. I get that. But I just wish that that battle for Azeroth theme, that horde in the Alliance, you know, killing each other, fighting each other, just carried even into the questing experience because you just don't really get that all the way up to 120. At least I didn't anyway. But those were just small things, little things that stood out to me that I was like, eh, this isn't so good. This isn't so great. But let's talk about some of my bigger gripes with this expansion. Three big things where I've been like, oh, God damn it, Blizzard. So the very first one, my first gripe is Teldrassil and the Undercity both getting screwed over. Now, for some of you guys, you might be like, oh, this isn't a big deal. I don't like Night Elves. I don't like Undead whatever but to me personally the forsaken and the night elves are my two favorite races in world of warcraft so this is just a personal big gripe for me but i'm just kind of like god damn it blizzard you know the forsaken are my favorite you know the night elves are my favorite and you don't just screw over one you screw over both teldrassil gets burned down one of my favorite places in wow Lordaeron gets completely blown to smithereens, one of my other favorite places in WoW, just because of those Warcraft 3 vibes. <sighs> and it's just... Man, you know? You know what I mean? It's just, oh, man. Damn it. So it kind of makes me sad, but it's just a personal big gripe. It, it just, yeah, it's just a personal thing, but something that might relate more to you guys is this. Number one... The Azerite system in this expansion is kind of meh. Compared to the artifact system, the Azerite system is just kind of underwhelming. You gather Azerite power, you get this Azerite potential gear or whatever. You invest your Azerite power that you collected in order to unlock some abilities. And most of the abilities are obvious, you know, hey, get the damage one or hey, get the one that's going to heal you a bit faster. There's really not too much choice variety in this system. And then the last option is just increase your item level by five points. So it's really not that impressive. It's it's interesting, but it's not like, ooh, like the artifact system was when it first came out. I don't jump for joy when I get an Azerite piece of gear. I just am like, Oh, you know, hey, time to spend all those Azerite points I collected. And the final big gripe that I have with BFA, something that has stood out to me, and I'm like, why, Blizzard, why? Is something that I've talked about in a previous video, and that is the mission tables. Now, my girlfriend, she is a greedy little goblin, and she loves mission tables. She has loved them from day one. She loves farming gold with them and blah, blah, blah. I'm of the opinion that instead of just farming gold for your character through a Facebook app, you should do it by engaging in the global world economy. You know, go out, pick flowers, trade things on the auction house, trade things with players for gold and money, whatever. I think that is how an economy should be done. That is how you should get gold in the game, not by just playing like a drag and drop Facebook app. So the mission table is coming back in BFA. I'm not really happy with it. I made a whole video talking about it called It's Time to Stop Blizzard where I shared my thoughts. But, you know, to each their own. For someone like me, it's still just a simple drag and drop and match the pictures game. And it's just kind of, kind of boring, kind of dumb. But again, that's just my opinion. But that's really it, guys. Those are the things that have stood out to me in BFA that I haven't really enjoyed. Aside from that, I made a video recently talking about how I'm having a lot of fun with the PvP, a lot of fun with the dungeons, I had fun testing the raids. Overall, I've just had a lot of fun in this expansion. It seems kind of... BFA seems very simplified and to the point, and I kind of like that. There is no crazy, ridiculous RNG legendary system anymore. There's not mindless 
AP grinding or whatever. And some people have complained about that and said, oh, you know, it feels like we're getting less in BFA. And I've heard people say that. And I, can, I can hear that. I can hear that argument. But I don't really feel like those things added too much to the game. I felt they just kind of made the game a little bit more frustrating and more tedious. So I'm glad that BFA is kind of just simplifying things and just... just yeah. I kind of like the simplification of things in BFA. It's just they're sticking to what works, and that's what they're doing. So, I don't know. I'm having a good time, but you never know. You know, 10 months down the road, I might be like, damn, this expansion sucks. <laughs> we will see how things play out. Either way, though, guys, thank you for listening to the video. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you to those of you that support me over on Patreon, whether you're supporting me for the WoW Machinimas, the Lord of the Rings Challenge, videos like these or just whatever you guys are awesome thank you to those of you that support me over on twitch and watch me every single week you guys are awesome and hey if you're just a youtube viewer and you're a guy that hits that like button you're awesome man if you guys like the video hit the subscribe button and the bell for more content and i will see you soon thank you for watching guys i'll see ya